When do you need to wash your columns? We will introduce four different cases and then advise how to wash your columns. The first case is abnormally higher pressure than in the previous analysis. When you see unusually high pressure, the column may be clogged. It is important to record the pressure of your new column under your analysis conditions so that you can monitor pressure rises. The second case is peak shape deterioration. Examples include peak splitting, peak tailing, and peak fronting. These can be caused by contaminants absorbed on the column. This can change retention behavior of the column. Target components can be adversely affected by the contaminants absorbed on the column. In this case, we have to wash the contaminants off the column. The third case is a decrease in the number of theoretical plates by 10% or more. If a column becomes dirty, noise may increase, or peak shapes may deteriorate. As a result, the number of theoretical plates will gradually decrease. The last case is long-term storage of your columns for 10 days or more. If a column is used under an acidic, alkaline, or salt-loading condition for a long period of time, it may cause deterioration of the column. Make sure to wash the used column before storing it. We have discussed four scenarios where you should wash your columns. Now we will explain how to wash reversed phase columns such as C18 columns. Organic solvents used to wash reversed phase columns have different cleaning strength from each other. Among them, methanol is the weakest solvent, and hexane is the strongest one. A weak solvent is usually used as a mobile phase for a reversed phase column. Washing a column may require a stronger solvent. We recommend to start washing with either methanol or acetonitrile. They can easily be mixed with water. If the cleaning with methanol or acetonitrile is insufficient, you need to use a stronger solvent. As the second choice, you can use tetrahydrofuran, ethanol, or isopropanol. These solvents show stronger cleaning effects. Please note that pressure may increase when you use isopropanol. If the cleaning with the second choice solvents is still insufficient, use hexane as the final choice. However, hexane does not mix with the first choice solvents. Therefore, make sure to use hexane after applying any of the second choice solvents. Now we will explain the details of the washing methods. First of all, create a mixture of 5 to 20% methanol or acetonitrile and water. Run this mixed solvent through a column. The reason for flushing under the water-rich condition is to remove precipitated substances, such as salts remaining on the column. The volume to use is 5 column volumes or more. For example, a column with an inner diameter of 4.6 mm and a length of 150 mm has a column volume of 2.5 ml. The volume of the washing solvent must be 12.5 ml or more. When washing at a flow rate of 1 ml per minute, running time must be at least 12.5 minutes. After washing with a mixture of water and an organic solvent, Wash the column with a 100% organic solvent. The volume to use is 10 column volumes or more. Finally, use the mixed solution of water and an organic solvent to flush the column. Use 5 column volumes. After this, you can use the column under usual analytical conditions and check whether the column has recovered or not. If the basic cleaning method does not improve the column performance, try an advanced washing method using organic solvents of the second choice or the final choice. First, wash with an organic solvent slash water mixed solution to prevent salt precipitation. The volume to use is five column volumes or more. This is similar to the basic method. After washing with the mixture of the organic solvent and water, Fill the column with a 100% organic solvent of the first choice and run 5 column volumes. After washing with the 100% organic solvent of the first choice, 
Fill the column with a 100% organic solvent of the second choice and run 10 column volumes. If the cleaning with the second choice solvent is still insufficient and ionic substances remain in the column, use the 100% second choice organic solvent with 0.1% trifluoroacetic acid added to remove ionic substances. The volume to use is 10 column volumes or more. If the cleaning with the second choice solvent is still insufficient and highly hydrophobic substances remain in the column, use hexane as the final choice. The volume to use is 10 column volumes or more. Then, return to the 100% organic solvent of the second choice. Run 5 column volumes of this again. After that, return to the 100% organic solvent of the first choice. Run 5 column volumes of this again. Finally, return to the mixture of the organic solvent and water, and run at least 5 column volumes. After that, use the column under the usual analytical conditions and check whether the column has recovered or not.